This is the Raspberry Pi, and this is the Raspberry Pi Finder web page. The world's all out of stock of these little single board computers. I need to free up this Raspberry Pi for other projects. This is my 3D printer running Clipper, and it needs Raspberry Pi to work. Or does it? I'm going to find out. There's no absolute requirements to run Clipper on Raspberry Pi even though it's much easier as there are pre-built images like Mainstale OS. But today, I will install it on something that's not a Raspberry Pi and show you my journey. So in my search for alternative SBCs, they are actually in stock, I come across these three. The Rasa Rock 3A, which features Rock Chip RK3568, Ethernet only, and is $38. The Pine H64 Model B, it features an all winner H645. The Rasa Zero, it features an AM Logic S905Y2 CPU, $33. I went to Rasa Zero's website, grabbed the base OS image, write the image to an SD card, then plug the Zero to power. I also plugged in the screen because there will be no network initially. First, you will be greeted to a desktop or terminal screen, and we use the default login. Now we look at this device and it's just going to sit there, nothing's going to happen until we connect it to the network. And we have two choices. One is to use the Ethernet connection on this USB hub. Uh, the other would be to set up the built-in Wi-Fi through the existing tools in the image. Ideally, we should also set up for static IP so we can locate auto print over the network. For this, we have a few choices. Now, I'll go with the NMTUI because I want to use a more visual tool to set up static IP. NMTUI brings up graphical interface in the terminal so you can have a little visual while working through the list. In here, I activate the Wi-Fi connection, choose my network, give it a password, and then edit the connection to include static IP. Next, I will install Clipper. I will use a tool called KIAUH, Clipper Installation and Update Helper. First, I install some basic system packages. Then I type the instructions for on KIAUH's GitHub page. And I am now seeing a block of text guiding us on the in installation. Everything here is straightforward. First, install Clipper, then Moonraker, Fluid, Autoprint in that order. And I installed one instance of everything for now. When all of this is done, you should be able to reach either the Fluid front end by typing in the IP address of your RASA zero or the auto-print instance by adding port 5000. Now you will need to cl configure Clipper, Fluid, and auto-print. Or you can re-import your old settings from somewhere else. And that is it. You are now printing with alternative single board computer. And you can now sell the Raspberry Pi for extra profit. I plan to do more tech tutorials in the future. So if you're interested, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.